In this video, coaches and parents are going to learn two things never to say to a young athlete because it hurts their performance. You know, there's so many trite little cliches floating around in the sports world. They're often repeated by unknowing coaches and parents. And some of them are very useful and when communicated consistently can ingrain solid beliefs and habits that lead to becoming great performers. Like, you are relentless. That's a positive way of saying never give up, right? Or you can do this. Another good one. And I want you to notice the elegance and simplicity in those two encouraging messages. That's what works for athletes. Now, on the other hand, I've heard countless stories from athletes and coaches using words that, that they think are going to motivate and help the athlete, but actually do the opposite. Number one, stop overthinking. This is classic, and I hear it all the time. Now, let me ask you this, coaches. How do you stop overthinking? Hmm? I'm a mental toughness trainer teaching people how to direct their thinking and their mind in ways that are useful for, for achieving peak performance. And I don't know how to stop overthinking and neither do you. Maybe if you've got 20 years to study and meditate with the monks in the Himalayas, you might learn that skill. And when you say this to an athlete, you actually create more overthinking because you've injected now confusion into their thinking. And the truth is, nobody has to stop overthinking anyway in order to use their brain in ways that support their best performances. What you want to say instead is, I want you to think about all the things your five senses are bringing to your, to your mind right now. What can your eyes, ears, feet, nose, hands notice about now and what you're experiencing with those five senses? And what this does is bring the athlete into the present moment where fear cannot exist. And that gives their mind something useful or at least neutral to think about. Or you could just simply say, get in the present moment with me right now if you've already taught them how to do it. In a meaningful situation like competition, the brain is hardwired to think even faster than normal and you're not going to slow it down, let alone stop anything. Instead, think of it like a car and tell the athlete to drive it instead of being a passive passenger. Here's another one that doesn't work. You've got to believe in yourself. This is another destructive comment to give to an athlete because not only does that create confusion, but it creates feelings of failure for not being able to do the thing you're telling the athlete to do. You end up hurting their confidence more than if you said nothing. And the truth about this is that nobody needs to, quote, believe in themselves to accomplish great things anyway. People do amazing things in sports and everywhere else without believing in themselves all the time. Think about when you first started a job or a career or vocation. Did you believe in yourself? You could do that job? Of course not. You had no idea. But you went and did it. And you learned by trial and error. And you got better. Right? The way success happens, amazing things happen, is people act without fears. Without the fears holding them back. And fear is that biggest interference to performance. Not lack of believing in yourself. Wrong. Get rid of the fear and some of the time the athlete, or anyone for that matter, will achieve a great accomplishment if they just go for it, period. If you really want to say something along these lines that will boost an athlete's confidence, confidence, then look your athlete in the eye and say, I believe in you no matter what happens here. Coaches, what you want to do is think about what you are about to say to an athlete before you say it. Ask yourself, if you were a teenager and you heard what you're about to say to them, would you understand it and be able to implement it? Would you know what to do with it? Is it simple and clear? If you want to get to the next level of bringing out athletes' best performances, You've got to go inside their mind and operate from their model of the world, not yours. 
Go to mentaltoughnesstrainer.com for more about this. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal.